to join us as we introduce Katrina Butulusi. You're welcome on the Thank show. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. And to my left, we have um, Francesca Rosette. You're welcome to Saturday Night. Thank you. Yeah, it's a pleasure Thank having you. you guys in the house. Yeah, I'm so happy having you guys here. Same here. Oh, great. That's what I was expecting. Right <laughs> so, now. <laughs> so now, Kinebuti, the name itself, it's something that um, people would want to know. What, what's this Kinebuti all about? What is Kinebuti? Uh, the name? Yeah. What is about? Actually, the name I used to give myself as a kid since right. I couldn't pronounce my full name, Caterina Bortolussi. Okay. So when people were asking me, what is your name? I used to reply, Kina, Caterina, okay. Buti Bortolussi. Oh. Because my Italian wasn't really, you know, like articulated. Oh, great. The name, uh, you know, stayed with me until now. Oh, great. So you named yourself Kina Buti. If after the name your parents gave to you, just decided to map it together and just make it easier for others to pronounce yes, it. Yes. And it's way, way easier for me. Kina Buti, it's, it's not Katrina. Bortolose. Bortolose. Can you imagine oh. a one, two years old girl? <laughs> they would bite their tongue, exactly. no doubt. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, the Godfather and all the Italian uh, Names, connections. Uh, yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, let's go serious now. The um, Kina Buti, what is it all about? really okay Kinabuti is an ethical fashion label no? that sees in uh, fashion a vehicle to make a difference to make an impact mm. and um, that's our mission uh, and that's what we have tried to achieve throughout the years uh, we established ourselves uh, in Nigeria in 2010 and since then that has been uh, the vision and the mandate uh, okay when you say a fashion initiative um, what exactly did you set out to do well, we set up uh, um, a no, we have a, a limited organization and we have a no profit organization. The Kinabuti Fashion Initiative is a no profit, a charity, uh, and uh, has the objective of uh, um, inspiring, empowering, training, giving skills. As we are talking now, in, uh, we have like some members of our team in Port Harcourt uh, training uh, single mothers. Uh, in uh, fashion related uh, activities so they're training single mothers how to seal screen print on textile and uh, without using machinery but using uh, local materials that you can find in the, the market uh, so that these women uh, can actually start uh, their own business or have the skills uh, to actually be hired by some by other people and it's actually a very good initiative, you know, like uh, they, we decided to work with single mothers because uh, one of our girls, uh, she became a single mother. So we came to realize the difficulties that she's facing and uh, one is definitely supporting yourself and your kid. So, you know, you can find this an avenue to make uh, revenue. Francesca, by virtue of you being uh, a member of the board of trustees, what exactly can you highlight more on the Kinabuti Foundation? Our first project was a project that we did in this community. We work in the same community in the Niger Delta, in Port Harcourt, um, uh, Marine Base, um, Okrika Waterfront, uh, Bundu, and, uh, and Agri Estate. And uh, the first project that we did was a project that uh, um, it started with the idea of Inspirate, because we have, different, we have uh, highlighted four different phases for our uh, uh, for the Kinabuti Fashion Initiative. And the first phase was inspiration. And this started with the, the scouting and then training of girls to become models. And uh, we selected out of 160 girls that we saw, we selected 21 and they became our models. And now it's a year and a half that we're, uh, we're working with these girls. Uh, these are girls that uh, uh, before they were not really working, just five of them were in school and, uh, and now five of them are living in Lagos. They've never been in Lagos in their whole life. They came with us the first time in April last year, one year ago. Um, they're working for international brands, they're making good money. Uh, some are working in Port Harcourt, uh, some went to Calabar during the carnival to work uh, as uh, brand ambassadors for some multinational brands. So they've, 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 their life has changed and they know, they've learned that uh, with the hard work you can achieve everything that you want in life. It could have been anything else. It could have been motoring. It could have been makeup. It could have been anything else. Any other vocational. Uh, why did you decide to choose fashion? 
We still have done makeup, uh, artists, hair styling, but fashion is um, is what we is where our passion is. So we decided to merge uh, pas- uh, fashion and do something for others. You know, engaging communities, uh, creating channels for. Um, creating, uh, uh, transferring skills, uh, engage the communities. Uh, so fashion is basically our vehicle. This is what it was my dream since I was a kid. But we saw this uh, a vehicle to do something more. And, you know, people do it with music, people do it with photography, people do it with uh, any other things. For us, uh, it's a matter of combining our lifestyle with our dream. Okay, yeah, I want to ask you this question. <coughs> you know, you came all the way from Italy. You mm-hmm. are from Italy. Yes. You came all the way from Italy, and you came to Nigeria, and you're doing something noble, something you know to touch the lives of Nigerians. What has informed that um, initiative? I guess it's um, the values that my parents gave me as I, I grew up. Uh, you know, my father has always been a very um, generous, very kind man that believes in uh, helping the others. Uh, and um, and then also coming to Nigeria, you know, the realization that uh, there are a lot of opportunities, uh, but it's also how you take these opportunities, you know. Um, there is nothing wrong in doing something that is good for yourself, but when you can do something that is good for yourself and good for the others, I think that uh, here you have a, a fantastic opportunity. So that's why we decided to use fashion. Fashion is our passion. And um, and doing something that uh, it benefits the others, it motivates you, inspires you. And um, you create a platform where it's not as for now, after two years that we have engaged ourselves into this, you know, there are so many other people that have come on board, you know, like, for example, also you inviting us today to, you know, um, the, the show, or many other people that play a role, so it becomes a bigger platform, you know, and, uh, and this is powerful. Okay, and now to Francesca. What are the criteria you put in place um, when you're looking for your um, models? The people when you go scouting for these girls and the women what are the criteria you put in place and what exactly are you looking at do you just go out in the streets and don't speak anybody you you meet or what what are the criteria really well, when we were looking for the for the models yeah. for the girls for the kinan booty girls uh we were definitely looking for uh, for the beauty that uh, that these girls there are so many beautiful girls but it's also something about you know their personality the look they have something inside that uh, that uh, makes uh, makes a difference. When we did the training of the of the for the workshop of uh, single mothers on uh, silk screening of t-shirts, what we were looking it was uh, before deciding which one were the girls. We did a little um, exercise and we asked them to create their own t-shirts. And so it was their ability of use their hands and the creativity that make us choose which one were were the right one. So for every project there is different criteria based on t- what is the nature of the project. So basically you're not really looking at the educational qualification of these um, girls. You're just looking at the abilities and their skills, is it? Yes, the ability, the skills and also their attitude, you know, and because sometimes I believe that there is uh, we can learn everything that we want, but we must want to learn it. So there is nothing that it's that is impossible. You can do whatever it's it's, uh, but you must want it and you must have a right attitude toward it. So, Katharina, uh, what would you say uh, would be your landmark achievement um, since you started off with the Kina Booty? Some you said you started two thousand and ten. Yes. Yeah. So what would you say? Um, would be your landmark achievement so far? Well, we had different achievements. All right. Uh, when it comes to the girls, for example, uh, uh, two of them are now going to London to the African Fashion Week. Um, some of them, they've been, they are working now as brand ambassadors for international brands. Uh, they do castings. Some move to Lagos, uh, so they work. Some others are working to our office as assistants, secretaries, so they're learning computer, secretarial skills, administration, which are very valuable and can help them anytime also in the future. Um, when uh, we did the sanitation exercise in Bundu um, a couple of weeks ago, 
that was the, the result we achieved was to we managed to create a bridge between the communities and uh, the government uh, and uh, and it was a really big achievement in terms that uh, now for the first time they're going to start picking up uh, the garbage from the communities uh, and they're starting dialogue uh, which is a way f way forward so uh, very proud very happy very grateful for what is happening wow with all that you have aligned so far i'm wondering where do you get your finance from uh, that's the most challenging part it's always very difficult um, we have uh, people that has helped us uh, in the past, uh, but we always run on, you know, like shoestring budgets. Uh, we always try to be very creative uh, with, uh, but we need more support because there is a, a new phase coming up, which is all about capacity building, uh, and we want to start, you know, uh, training. Uh, plenty of youths uh, into the communities uh, in uh, tailoring, uh, cutting patterns, uh, into vocations, uh, fashion uh, related vocation for them to achieve, uh, to create skills, to transfer skills into them and for be able to, you know, g have job opportunities. So for this phase we really need a lot of support. Okay, so where's your project based? We are based in Lagos. We started our activities in Port Harcourt, but we're looking at expanding outside of Port Harcourt. That was our pilot. You know, before moving, consolidation is very important. If you start spreading yourself out, you end up losing focus and losing also energy. So we decided, let us achieve, let us consolidate in Port Harcourt. As Why Port Harcourt? Uh, I've been working in Port Harcourt for a long time, since 2007, and uh, previously I organized two international film festivals in Port Harcourt in 2009-2010. So it was very, it was a very like easy and very logic, um, you know, decision. We were there. I was doing the film festival and uh, I was given the opportunity to showcase my clothes during the film festival. So instead of going and look for girls uh, into Lagos, that's how the idea, why don't we give an op opportunity to girls uh, from the local communities, we train them and we expose to the filmmakers, actresses, they actually, the first fashion show that girls did, they did a fashion show with Genevieve Nagy, Rita Dominic, Eku Edward, because we wanted them to meet uh, their dream, the people that could become in the future. Interesting. That's a lot. So now, um, when you talk about um, the girls, do they have to all be slim? Is there space for people like us, people of our size there? There's space for everybody. Yeah. Are you sure? We have space for everybody. <laughs> it's, true. Wow. it's true. Are you sure? Okay, I'll take you. I'll take you. I'll take everybody you has word. something to offer. Oh, really? We had uh, at one point a girl that I think she was 1 meter 55, but she was so, you know, resilient. Uh, and we said, uh, no problem, you know, come. Yeah. Hmm. And then you went on. She went on. Now she, uh, she recorded her first uh, music album. She was a singer. So it's called Lily, uh, and uh, she's really trying. Uh. So in one, in one sentence, um, what would you, um, projections, with looking at projections now, where do you see Kinabuti in the next 10 years? Is it going to be like a, a Nigerian brand, or you want to make it an international brand? Well, it would be nice to consolidate ourselves in Nigeria, mm -hmm. you know, achieve more, be able to train more people, to create a school, and uh, after that, uh, start looking outside uh, of mm. Nigeria and definitely, you know, um, in Africa, internationally. It's, uh, but I think uh, before we need to be strong here. Oh, know, great. We've just started. You've just started. For how long have you been in Nigeria now? Uh, since two thousand, uh, beginning of 2006. And you? Uh, four years. Four years. So how would you say your experiences have been like? You for starters. It's been very positive, challenging at the same time, but um, overall I'm very grateful, you know, that I came to Nigeria and uh, I met very nice people and um, very good friends uh, and um, it's really a special uh, country, you know, my mother came already three times. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. You've been here, you've been here for that long, so what are the foods you like? Tell us. 
Well, first of all, I must say I'm vegetarian. Oh, okay. So my, my, my spread of food... Plantain, real... plantain. <laughs> all the time. Yeah, she loves yeah, yeah, love yum. yum. Oh, so you mean you haven't um, tried the eba, fufu? I, I would say it's fufu. No, but uh, I like moi moi. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And uh, what else? Uh, akara. 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 Oh, with. so what do you take the akara yeah. with? Oh, with like this, no? Like how? Am I supposed to d- dip it in something? Oh, so you just chew it like that? Yeah. yeah. From the streets. I buy it in the street. Oh, mm. and you know also what we love, and soon is coming the season, the corn on the cob. Corn cob. Co- ah, with that thing that they the give you. The green one. What the is called? Par- yeah. The yeah. pear. Yeah. Okay. Eh, eh, what, what's okay, the pear. Avocado pear. No. No. Which That's one? from the east. What's that? I don't remember the name in uh, in Lilo, but it's called pear. It's pear. A, uh, it's pear. It's pear. Uh, that you have the green, it's greenish? It's soft. Uh-huh. Soft, you eat it with the, with the, um, with the corn. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it's oh, bitter. you mean you eat corn as well? Yes. You eat corn, you enjoy corn? We like it. Oh, beautiful. So, um, with that put in place, I want to believe you guys, yeah, um, you ladies are single. <laughs> are you single? She has a boyfriend. <laughs> and you? Yeah, but yeah. No, me, I'm single, so... So do we announce it to the world? At, uh, <laughs> announce, announce, uh, please. <laughs> I beg. Are <laughs> you single? You're available. Are available. you available? Because sometimes you can be single and not available. No, 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 available. You're available. So, um... On Saturday night, we're telling you that um, <laughs> she's available. You can have her. You can come. Just knock on her door. And if you're lucky, you might just get the coming signal. Okay? Well, thank you so much for coming on Saturday night. It's been an honor having you on the show. Thank, thank you so you very much. much. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Thank uh, you, thank we you. wish you all the very best on Saturday God night. Bless you. Well, viewers, that's the much we have time for on Saturday night. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Have a good